Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther and I want to show you how to work with the... Uh, what is that? Scrizzer tool. You can find it right here. A lot of designers are using this. Uh, they are overusing it sometimes because uh, there's like more easier ways to cut with, uh, you know... You know, you don't need all the time like the Scrizzer tool, but I'm gonna show you when you really need it, like when really it's basically important. But before that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the, hit the notification bell so you get daily updates. Uh, okay, let's select the rectangle tool. Press and hold uh, Shift plus Alt and create your first uh, rectangle or square. Or was it, what is that? I'm going to decrease the size of the stroke. You can decrease it here or increase it, whatever you want it. Or you can go here to do that stuff. Press and hold Shift rotate it you can see i'm gonna rotate if uh, you know if i here in this spot i can do the rotation okay we're here i'm gonna go to select the direct selection tool select these two anchor points and as you can see this dot right here you just drag it until it's gonna look like this i'm gonna unite these because right now we still can transform it i want to isolate it perfectly or if you don't have the pathfinder you can go to windows and select the pathfinder so that way it's going to appear i'm going to press and hold shift and rotate it once and then press o i think yeah you press o or you can select the reflect tool from the menu and now press and hold alt and go to the anchor point click on the anchor point and go to vertical press copy Select both, do the same thing, press O or go to click on Reflect tool, press and hold Alt, click on the anchor point, click Horizontal and press Copy. So we got uh, this stuff going on. Actually, I finished it. I didn't need it to do this. I just need one of these. And right now we're going to use the, what is that? The scrizzer tool so we're going to cut these in two pieces we're going to click on this anchor point and on this anchor point and as you can see it just cut in two pieces why did i do this because i want to you know use the blend tool go to blend object blend make and from here we're going to double click on here on the blend tool click previews go to specified step increase the number as you can see gonna create a nice effect there and uh, for example if i don't cut this with the scrizzer so i didn't cut with scrizzer it's like together it's you know united i'm gonna go to, go to the objects again go to blend and i can't activate the option the make i can't do the blend Okay, so uh, we got these. And I'm going to create a new copy and I'm going to create this stuff with, by doing so. Let's do the same uh, thing. You already know the shortcuts and the tools. And there you go. We have this new interesting, I don't know what is this. Of course, we can modify this, the stroke uh density and um how much uh stroke you want to add oh look at that this looks really good actually so i'm gonna group these i think control plus g now it's grouped mm, thinking to thinking to do a pattern maybe okay let's do a pattern out of this go to objects go to pattern make and yeah i can decrease the height and width eventually to see how it's going to look with one two seven okay it's not that bad it's not that bad i'm gonna press done i'm gonna create a new rectangle and switch it to fill and then go to swatches and you can see here we have the new pattern this is how it looks wow okay i like it i like what i see I was also like thinking where to push this, uh, you know, to a next level because I s somehow saw something in this stuff, but I'm not sure yet. I was thinking on this. 
but uh, you know right now I'm doing freestyle okay this is freestyle this is uh, not not in the video this is this is not in the script what I'm doing right now but I don't know man I think it's enough <clears throat> if you want to stick with me uh, but yeah this was a t t uh, the, basically the tutorial if you still want to stick with me and to see what I'm making out of this stuff then uh, yeah you can do that but uh, yeah I think I'm, go I, I'm going to stop here and uh, explore further a little bit later I don't know what I'm doing like this these are like weird stuff anyways so yeah this is how you do uh, this is how you use the the scrizzer tool rare these are like really really rare occasion when you I mean I personally use the scrizzer tool I don't necessarily use all the time the scrizzer tool usually I use the direct selection tool when I want to delete stuff but uh, the scrizzer tool is really good for this option so yeah anyways if you want to see other tutorials just click here on the right side and go check those and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye